Hello everyone and welcome back to another amazing chess game by Paul Murphy which is definitely going to make you happy from 1866 in New Orleans. So after the American Civil War, Paul Murphy returned to his home and sometimes in some rare occasions he played chess games with his close friends behind closed doors. And those games were exhibition games with giving knight and rook odds. So in this chess game, his opponent is Charles Marion, his close friend. And, well, Charles Marion was Paul Morphy's lifelong closest friend. And thankfully, Charles Marion recorded the chess games that he played with Paul Morphy to his notebook. So if it was not for him, uh, these chess games would not have been existed. So let's check out what happened in this chess game. So, as you probably know, Paul Morphy retired from the competitive level chess and he was only playing some exhibition chess games and these were Paul Morphy's chess games in his later years. So, let's check out what happened. e4 by Paul Morphy, e5, f4 and we have the king's gambit, accepted, knight out, g5. Bishop to c4 by Paul Morphy, g4 by Maria. Well, believe it or not, but actually sacrificing the knight in this position was a common idea in the romantic era of chess. Even though it looks ridiculous, this is what Paul Morphy did, pushing the pawn for the quick activity, for the quick development, sacrificing the knight. And also Paul Morphy before the game, he surrendered one of his knights on b1, but he is sacrificing the other knight as well. Well, Marion captured the knight. G takes on f3. What else? Free piece. Why not? Paul Morphy captured on f3, developing the knight. Well, straight off the bat, Paul Morphy also sacrificed his bishop. Bishop takes on f7. What a move. He is throwing the kitchen sink to his opponent. Incredible. Well, king takes on f7, what else? But with this move, he is dragging the king out and the king's safety has been compromised. Queen check, king to e7, and then Paul Morphy captured on f4 with the bishop. With the bishop, and he can play bishop to g5. Knight to f6, attacking the queen, but pinning the knight. Maybe developing the bishop in this position was more precise. Well, in this position, Charles Marion simply wants to develop his pieces quickly and then he wants to bring his king to the safety. So that is his purpose and Paul Morphy is three pieces down and that's a huge disadvantage for white. But on the other hand, Paul Morphy has the attack. He has the better coordination and we can say that Marion, Marion's king is not looking safe. So, developing the knight, pinning the knight, developing the bishop. Well, in this position, if d6, then castling would be embarrassing move for black. So, bishop to g7 and e5 by Paul Morphy. And Marion is going to lose his knight. Queen to e8, not exchanging the queens, queen back. Queen to g6 and Paul Morphy castled, improving the position before capturing the knight. The knight is not going anywhere. d5. So black wants to liberate his bishop. And we can say that Paul Morphy's pieces are all ideally placed. On the other hand, Marion is suffering because of his crumpy position and his king safety has been horribly compromised. So let's continue. Paul Morphy simply captured the knight. e takes on f6. Check, forking the king and the bishop, and losing the bishop as well. So this is check, discovered attack, discovered check to the king with the rook, capturing, and what would you do in this position? Now after the smoke, Paul Morphy only is a piece down, and he has the attack. We see another miracle by Paul Morphy. So what would you do in this position? Let me give you three seconds. Would you check the king with the bishop, bishop to f6?
Well, Morphe played rook to f6, and black is in big trouble. Well, we have bishop to f5, not even defending the queen, but let's take it back. If defending the queen like this, then check and checkmate. And if queen goes back, this is also getting checkmated by checking the king with the bishop. Only move, check, only defense, and rook to f8, check, mate. There is no defense. Okay, so as you can see, after rook in, black is in trouble. So bishop to f5, and Paul Morphy simply captured the queen, capturing the rook, checking the king with the bishop, and after this move, Charles Morian resigned. Because he didn't want to fight a losing battle. What a chess game by Paul Morphy. From start to finish, a brilliant attacking chess game. But again. And the possible continuation, if king goes back, of course capturing the rook with check. And if king to f7, then capturing the rook with the bishop, and this is too much for black. As I said, Marianne didn't want to fight a losing battle. So thank you very much for watching. This was one of the chess games of Paul Morphy from 1860s. And after he retired from the competitive level chess. And thanks to Marianne, he noted the chess games that he played with Paul Morphy, which is incredible. And maybe after the death of Paul Morphy, he published those chess games. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye bye.